everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red. In the last part, we came here to Vermilion City after defeating Misty, the Cerulean City gym leader. Uh, we went to Diglett's cave and got ourselves a brand new team member, Hans the Diglett, who I trained up off screen to match the other two team members. Or, well, at, at, to match Jeff at least. Uh, Weed Whacker is still a level ahead. But anyways, uh, he also learned Dig and Sand Attack during that grinding session, and I just remembered that I forgot to deposit Marcel, the Mr. Mime. Probably should do that. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so... This is arguably the biggest complaint I have with Gen 1. And, uh... It's also... It's very much present in Gen 2 as well. The PC system is complete ass. So, basically... You have... You have 12 boxes that you can put Pokémon into, and each one can hold up to a maximum a m m m m m m m I believe a maximum of I believe 20 pokemon which uh yeah that's that's not very many so uh you can't deposit any more once uh they've been filled up and you have to go to the PC and physically switch switch boxes and every time you do that, it saves the game, for some reason. So yeah, uh... Yeah, you can see that there is, uh... If there's a Pokeball beside the box number, that means that there is a Pokémon in that box. And, uh, you'll notice that there's also a Pokémon in box 12 that I have. Those are... gonna be used later for stuffs. Stuffs that I can't do currently, unfortunately. Not because of in-game restrictions, because of restrictions that I, I... I don't have the proper thing for. So, um, anyways, enough talking about that. We've, uh... Oh. Actually, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go and deposit a whole bunch of items. So, uh, BRB... Alright, so I went and deposited all of my TMs, as well as the old rod, and, uh... Speaking of depositing items, I'm just now realizing that I forgot to pick up the town map at the beginning of the game from Blue's sister. So, uh... That, that's, that's a good time. Anyways, let us show this dude our SS ticket. Which enables us to enter. The SSN. So, uh, th this is a large ship, and, uh, there are a whole bunch of trainers and items scattered around the ship. I really don't feel like commentating over all of these trainers. I I'll still show them, but it's, uh, gonna be sped up. So, let's get that going.
Hans evolves into Doug Trio. Yay. Yeah, what am I doing? Down. Good boy. Doug Trio, the mole Pokemon, a team of Diglett triplets. It triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Alright, cool. Back to your regularly scheduled sped upness. That is it. That is every minor trainer and every item on this ship. So, uh, got a couple of TMs here. This is, we've got TM44, which is Rest, which is a move that uh, heals your Pokemon completely, but also puts them to sleep for two turns. And there's also TM8, which is Body Slam, which is a Quite, pow quite a powerful normal type move, which also has a chance to paralyze the opponent. Anyways, I am gonna go that way in a little bit, but first I'm gonna go heal, because yeah. Alright, so with our team all happy and healthy and stuff, we can now go up here and run into this asshole. Bonjour to you too. Congratulations, you know a single word, oh French. How could you possibly have 40 Pokémon already? Have you just, like, evolved everything? Because otherwise, I, I, I don't get it. Anyways, Battle of the Birds. His Pidgeotto has gained exactly one level since we last fought him. And we get a lucky, uh, a lucky break with Fury Attack. Five hits, oh yeah! And he's, uh... He's evolved his Rattata because he's a fucking cheater! And it also goes down in one turn because Fury Attack. Let's, let's just see how long we can just keep Jeffing him. So, he's also evolved his Abra because, you know, he's grown a brain, and, um, <laughs> yep, yep, this, this certainly happened. Alright, let's see if we can make it four for four. He's also finally evolved his starter. He's now got Charmeleon. Yes, Charmeleon. Oh my god! Jeff, you are amazing! I don't even care that uh, that, that was anticlimactic. That was awesome! Yeah, why why is he the captain of a ship if he's prone to seasickness? I I don't re I don't really get it. But anyways, we want to go uh, we want to go visit him. Hello. Let's look in the garbage can. Ermagerd, it's vomit. How to conquer seasickness. Yes. Oh, I was hoping it would it would just be like a hundred copies of How to Conquer Seasickness. But anyways, we're gonna just uh Yep, yep, yep. Yes, Red, what what did you rub of the captain? Oh, oh okay, okay, sure. Let's let's go with that. Oh, you! Thank you. I feel much better. You want to see the cut technique? No, no, I don't. And the captain gives us HM one. So uh, the HMs 
are, uh... Yeah, HM is... or Hidden Machines. Uh, they are similar to TMs, where, uh, you can teach Pokémon moves with them. However, HMs do not break after use, so you can use them over and over again if you want to. And also, um... All moves taught by HMs can be used outside of battle, and the SSN just kind of sails away, and apparently so do the water tiles that are behind it. Alright. I accept it. <laughs> to you too. But yeah, um... Yeah, HM1 obviously is cut, which allows you to cut down trees like this. So, excuse me while I go find something to teach cut. Hooray! We have successfully taught cut to our Oddish. And, uh, you might be thinking, well, he's, he's gonna go to the gym, obviously, because that's what that, that's the main use of cut in this section. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the gym yet. Instead, I'm gonna go uh, back to Route 2 through Dicklet, Dicklet's Cave. Yeah, because there's a couple of other things that we can do while we are there. So I'm just gonna meet you over there and run into like 76 Dicklets on the way there. Okay, maybe it wasn't 76, maybe it was only 5. Fine, be that way. So, if we go into the menu, we unfortunately have to go into the menu in order to use HM moves in Gen 1. But, uh, yeah, if we use Cut, then we can chop down this tree. We can also do this, if we so choose. Yeah, you can just kind of cut down tall grass if you feel like it. I don't know why you would, but... Mm, maybe you just want to get through places quickly. Except that wouldn't... That would probably waste more time than actually running into wild Pokémon. Anyways, we can now cut down this tree and, uh, just kinda sneak into the Pewter Museum. Hi. What are you talking about? I just did. No! Fossil... eyes. Yes. So, um... Uh, if by gold you mean green, then, uh, yeah, sure. Pokémon Dna. Silly, your colleagues. So yeah, we we get the old amber. We will not be using this for a while, but it it will come into play later. Uh, other thing that we can do with cut now that we have it is we can go. We can go down, back down here towards Route 2. We can cut down the tree again because it respawns. Not sure what they put into the dirt here in order to make trees grow back so quickly, but whatevs. But yeah, we can go jump down these ledges because we're cool. Uh, this guy I don't think has anything. This guy, on the other hand... <coughs> Hi! Remember me, I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you got ten kinds of Pokémon, I'm supposed to give you an... an MO5. I... I'm pretty sure I've caught more than ten kinds, yes. Twenty-nine! Yeah, that's... that is more than ten. Yay, I can count. So yeah, HM5, we got... That, that was horribly worded. But, uh... HM5 contains Flash, which can, uh... Oddish can't learn Flash? Huh? I could have sworn it was able to. 
well, never mind then. But yeah, Flash can, uh, help you see in dark areas. By the way, there's another Moonstone. I forgot that was there. And, uh, yeah, there is, I believe, exactly one dark area in this game. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, uh, it, it will not be used at all after that, because in battle, it's... All it does is lower accuracy, and it is it itself is fairly inaccurate. So, yeah. Anyways, once again ending the episode by uh, strolling through Diglett's cave. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Red, we are uh, gonna do one more itsy bitsy little thing before. Uh, going to take on the Vermilion City Gym. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody.